What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA Saga. And uh, for today's video guys, I have pretty much uh, the only news. Uh, we, you know definitely that uh, just uh, uh, less than uh, 24 hours ago, Pete Sessions and Ralph Norman published uh, their new letter that was addressed uh, to FINRA and SEC. And uh, just uh, yesterday I showed you this uh, tweet uh, that was published by uh, Chris Rose uh, for West Virginia. And uh, yesterday I showed you that uh, he was the only person uh, who is related to Congress. He's not yet a congressman, but probably he will be. And he was the only person uh, who uh, made uh, this uh, statement. But at the same time, guys, uh, I have to say that uh, just 18 hours ago, Ralph Norman wrote this tweet. And by the way, before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and drop me a line in the comment section uh, if you think my videos are available for the community. I have to admit that uh, just several hours ago I had uh, some medical procedures that wasn't very successful and uh, it is not related to the flu that I had recently but it is related to the surgery that I had uh, back in uh, the late of March of this year. This is why guys uh, I highly encourage you to support me by just clicking this like button. It is very important for me. So. Let's start uh, with this news. First of all, I will show you this letter in details and on top of that, I will show you uh, some uh, consequences and uh, call to actions that we have to do in order to find out and in order to make uh, this letter even more useful for the community. So first of all, let me quote to this. Congress has an obligation and duty to our constituents to provide oversight and ensure our markets are functioning fairly and efficiently. And until P. Thanks to 40 of my bipartisan colleagues for joining me in this search for transparency. I look forward to the SEC's response. And uh, let me quote you this letter in details. It was addressed uh, to uh, Honorable Gary Gensler, as you can see, Chairman of Security and Exchange Commission. And uh, guys, uh, I, was, uh, I misled you by saying that uh, it was uh, addressed to FINRA and SEC. It is addressed to uh, SEC only. So, and let me quote to this. Dear Chairman Gensler, we write to follow up a previous letter signed by over 70 members of Congress requesting that the Securities and Exchange Commission review events surrounding, surrounding Metamaterials Series A preferred shares. As you know, MTLP was created during the merger between Metamaterials and Torchlight Energy Resources to provide preferred stock dividends to TRCH shareholders. MMTLP shares began trading on the OTC market in 2021. In the summer of 2022, the SEC received and subsequently approved a Form S1 and amendments to spin off a portion of the company Metamaterials into a new company, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons. However, on December 9, 2022, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority issued a youth halt on trading in the company's stock, preventing shareholders from making further trades. Since the halt, constituent investors have contacted members of Congress with serious concerns about the spin-off uh, transaction and the subsequent halt on trading. To date, more than 40,000 letters uh, from uh, concerned constituents have been sent to Congress. We have received uh, information including that the SEC is investigating events related uh, to MMHLP. Upon completion of your investigation, we request a briefing with the results of your investigation. We have an obligation to our constituents to provide oversight uh, and ensure our markets are functioning fairly and efficiently. Please respond by Ju June 15 uh, of this year with the confirmation of your commitment to brief uh, members of Congress and estimated timeline for the completion of your investigation. Thank you for your attention uh, to this important matter. Sincerely, Ralph Norman, member of Congress and Pete Sessions, member of Congress. And guys, let me uh, show you what is, uh, uh, let me show you a couple of uh, the most important things. First of all, very good thing that uh, is that we have uh, a pure deadline of June 15th and we have uh, less than 10 days uh, till uh, this deadline. That is why 
Gary Gensler has to uh, make some answer and uh, probably he will uh, again postpone this answer. Uh, he will be late with this answer, but nevertheless, the strict deadline is set by Pete Sessions and Ralph Norman and it is very important. And for now, let me show you the fact that is not so pleasant for us. Uh, upon the completion of your investigation, we request a briefing with the results of your investigation. So, this investigation might last uh, for years. That is why it is uh, pretty much a wild card for him uh, to kick this can down the road uh, for whatever reasons uh, he wants and uh, as long as uh, he can even imagine. And uh, this is not the best part, but definitely, I think uh, by June 15, we have uh, to see the response from Gary Gensler. And uh, this is uh, the major deadline that we have on the table right now. On top of that, uh, let me show you that a lot of uh, people from our community are really happy about uh, this uh, letter. Uh, for example, uh, Meta News uh, published uh, uh, several uh, tweets in regards to this letter. On top of that, let me show you that, for example, Representative Alec Rain also wrote this 12 hours ago. We'll keep pushing for answers for, an MTLP, for the MTLP community. Proud to join uh, this effort with Ralph Norman. But at the same time, guys, why do we have uh, only 40 uh, Congress members who signed uh, this uh, letter? I think uh, it is not the best sign again. And definitely, we've lost uh, about half of uh, the Congress members uh, uh, within just the uh, last uh, five and a half months. And here is the list uh, of uh, Congress members who signed uh, this letter. Uh, Ralph Norman added uh, 21 uh, names uh, in, this, in his first tweet and uh, uh, 19 uh, names in his second tweet. So, at, uh, in total, we have 40 names. 40 Congress members who signed this contract. And guys, let me show you this update that is uh, really important. Costas uh, uh, wrote uh, this tweet uh, uh, and uh, he has a lot of concerns about uh, this uh, lack of uh, Congress members who signed uh, this uh, uh, letter. Uh, let me quote you what uh, did he write. Hi, MTLP. My representative was a part of uh, the first round of 75 signatures on the Ralph Norman 7 MTLP letter to SEC and FINRA, but was not uh, called out on this round of 40. I just sent them uh, the following message asking why. You are welcome to send uh, it to yours. And here is the blueprint, blueprint of uh, this letter. Let me quote you just some crucial points. Dear Congressman, and you have to add the name of your Congressman right here. Next one, first paragraph uh, pretty much introduces uh, the MMTLP saga. Then Costas wrote uh, about the gravity of uh, the situation, and uh, here is the most important part. Congressman Norman's letter raises critical questions and seeks uh, transparency from the CC and FINRA, which are essential to restoring trust in our financial markets. As your constituent, I am eager to understand your position on this matter and why you choose not to sign the second letter. Your support is crucial in ensuring that our voices are heard and uh, that the necessary steps are taken to investigate and resolve the issues. The primary concerns outlined in Congressman uh, Norman's letter include the lack of transparency and communication from the SEC and FINRA regarding the tragic halt and subsequent actions. Next one, the unprecedented uh, freezing of uh, property rights uh, of MMTLP shareholders. Next one, the potential misuse of investor funds by brokers uh, during this period. And the uh, next one, uh, the need for a congressional hearing to address these concerns and seek justice for affected investors. And uh, I think uh, we have and we deserve to know these answers uh, from uh, Congress members who hasn't signed uh, this letter for the second time. And uh, this uh, blueprint uh, is uh, very useful for you if you haven't uh, found uh, the name of your Congress member right here in Ralph Norman's uh, two tweets uh, that uh, basically an add-on to his major tweet. So, and definitely, it is a pretty much call to action uh, to contact to your Congress member. Next one, let me show you this. We have quite weird... Uh, a situation with the QCIP numbers, and I covered it uh, in uh, some of my previous videos, but for now we have another evidence of uh, the gibberish that is happening behind the scenes. Iron Ape MMTLP wrote this seven hours ago. 
Wait, do Fidelity MMTLP holders hold uh, Metatron? And uh, he added uh, this uh, uh, quite weird number. I don't know whether it is a QCIP number or not, but uh, uh, Aaron Ape MMTLP refers to the tweet that was written eight hours ago by Marcus. And Marcus wrote, wait, what? Am I a Metatron shareholder? It would have been better if they named uh, the shell Autobots. Amateurs. And here is the screenshot uh, of uh, the QCIP number. Uh, here is the number itself. Uh, 59199-4371. And the company name uh, is uh, Nancy Bridge Hydrocarbons. And right here we have the same number, but uh, with the company name of Metatron. Guys, do you know what uh, Metatron means? I don't know, basically, and how it is even possible that uh, one uh, basically cancelled uh, ticker symbol has several QCIP numbers and uh, I have to say that it is another violation of uh, the internal SEC and FINRA's rules and uh, I don't think that uh, it is happening uh, at this very moment. It happened back in the days and uh, uh, you can see that Curtis wrote this 10 hours ago. I think uh, TD dropped something. I'll just put it in the Twitter lost and found beam. And uh, I think uh, it happened uh, back in the days, but behind the scenes. That is why we don't know all the details uh, of uh, this uh, investigation, if it ever happened. And we don't know why it is happening. So, definitely, for now, we still have a lot of questions, but lack of answers. And uh, we have to push our case forward no matter what. On top of that, guys, let me show you just uh, one more tweet that was published by Richard Hoffman in regards to the upcoming uh, live stream. And uh, he made an update. Uh, MMTLP, GTII, Finger and GJT. And uh, stuff Sunday night at uh, 7.45 p.m. Eastern YouTube Live, Kristen, Curtis, JR and I. See you then. And uh, he added uh, Kristen Shaughnessy and uh, he changed uh, the time of his uh, YouTube live session. That is why just keep this in mind and uh, basically that's it. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium packed